What's up, y'all? This is the God Bombs. I'm back again. I told you I'm going to be hella consistent this time. We are reviewing the new Linkin Park single. Wow, this came out of nowhere, for me at least. I wasn't super tapped in with what was going on with them. But damn, they blew me away with this song. Ever since Chester Bennington's tragic suicide back in 2017, Linkin Park has been on a hiatus for obvious reasons. I mean, the band existed before Chester Bennington, but when Chester came, that's when the band really blew up with their classic albums like Hybrid Theory, Meteora. The band really helped to define the sound of what became known as new metal with their turntables, their kind of industrial tinged rock music with some hip hop elements and rap elements. It all blended together into something that was supremely commercially successful. Linkin Park was everywhere in the mainstream in the early 2000s. This band literally defined the 2000s. After a while, they released some records that weren't really connecting with people as much. I think they felt kind of lost once rock music started to die out in like the 2010s. And a lot of rock artists really didn't know what to do with themselves. There were some few albums where they were trying to go like really pop and electronic and really clean sounding. And it just didn't sound like that Linkin Park that we all knew and loved. Well, guess what? This new single does. Linkin Park is back with their new single, The Emptiness Machine. They are debuting a new vocalist, Emily Strong, from the band Dead Sarah. And let me tell you what, she nailed it. She sounds like Chester. She's got that vocal fry, those strained vocals that we all know and love from Chester, all while singing with amazing pitch. And we already know that she can do it live because they just played a huge show at the Palladium here in L.A., and they debuted this song as the first song of the show. And I love the intro that they used for it live. So... I'm feeling like the artistry is strong on this comeback. They are taking this super seriously. You can tell right from the beginning. This song immediately invokes classic Linkin Park, still adding something new. The production is super modern. I love the lo-fi beats and the cool EQs that they use on the program drumming and then switching to the live drumming. It's a very awesome trick that they originally got from artists like Nine Inch Nails and, and Stabbing Westward from the industrial rock scene. But of course, Linkin Park takes it to a really clean, really well-produced place that's just pristine. And I love that about them. You know, I used to be too cool for them back in high school. I was that goth kid that was like, oh, they're sellouts. But, you know, over the years, I really have grown to appreciate what they bring to the table. And I think it's this new single is a great example of Linkin Park at their prime. This is the first single to announce a new album called From Zero. Sounds like they're basically saying, we're starting from scratch. Chester's gone, we have to find a new beginning. That's what the title suggests to me, at least. And I applaud them for moving on. You know, it's really difficult when the front person of a band dies, especially in such a tragic way. It's like the band doesn't really know how they're supposed to continue. A lot of bands just end right then and there. I'm super glad that these guys are still going and pushing and that they're back. And also, I feel like there's a return of rock music finally happening right now where awesome bands like Mudvayne reunited Linkin Park just came out with this great new single Marilyn Manson is back with two awesome new singles and he's on tour right now the new Smashing Pumpkins album finally had like that rock sound that we were missing all these bands are kind of coming out of the woodwork from the 90s and the 2000s and it's like it's back System of a Down is touring Deftones is killing it right now I mean it feels like we're having a resurgence of rock music finally because it was just for a while there it was just all pop and hip-hop and r&b and trap music and i mean that stuff's cool but like man i love my rock so welcome back lincoln park i am gonna give this single a nine the only thing that would have made this a 10 would be if chester was on it you know rest in peace chester you can never be replaced but Emily Strong, you are doing a great job in filling those shoes. So welcome aboard, Emily, and I will be covering everything Linkin Park does moving forward. I'm excited about this return, and I just can't wait to see who pops up next out of the woodwork. Maybe a Nine Inch Nails comeback is in order because I'm kind of sick of all these soundtracks, Trent. We need, like, some Nine Inch Nails music that's badass with heavy guitars. Pretty please. And hope you guys enjoyed my review. Drop a like. Leave a comment, subscribe, 
You know the deal. Check out my band, The God Bombs, on this channel. And we just covered the new Kanye West song, Fried. We did it trap metal style. Check it out on this channel right now. I love you guys. Bombs away.